so exciting. Pools open this weekend. Swimming is always a fun thing to do in the summer, but it can also be dangerous. We have Sadie Burchard, who is the Aquatics Director with the YMCA of Greater Kansas City. We're so glad you're here. You All right, so pools are opening. What's on your mind right now? We're all yes. thinking about the fun part, but you're thinking safety. Yes, of always. So um, definitely when you have your kids at the pool, the number one thing that we want to make sure is that you and your kids are safe at all times. Mm -hmm. So some things that the YMCA does, uh, definitely one, we actually offer swim lessons all year round. Okay. A lot of people aren't aware of that. Mm -hmm. And then um, due to our generous donors, we're able to offer financial assistance. So financially, there shouldn't be any barriers to learn the life-saving skill. Oh, that's good to know. So if you don't have the money, you can get your kid in swim classes for whatever you can afford. Yes. Or, you know, if you need the whole thing comped, there you go. Because yeah. we want kids to live. Of yeah. course, yes, absolutely. Another thing is, is what type of float, flotation devices are out there for your kids? There's mm -hmm. so many yeah. from when you go to just your normal store, there's a whole aisle of them. And a lot of people mm -hmm. think, I don't know which one to buy my kid. Right, because there's the little ones you put on your little arm yep. and then I don't know. Yeah, but there's blow up ones, there's yeah. rings, there's so mm -hmm. many. And so what we really focus on is anything that says it's lifeguard, Coast Guard approved okay. is going to be your big thing. So are we talking here about these? Yeah, so this is just your basic one right mm -hmm. here. And then in the inside of them, it's going to always let you know that this is Coast Guard approved. Okay. So that's your number one thing that you want to look for. Mm -hmm. um, and the beauty is, you know, especially if you're visiting a Y pool, but most lifeguards should know this as well. You can ask a lifeguard and ask if this is Coast Guard approved, and they're going to be able right. to answer that question. just tell you right there. Okay, yeah. so that's important, and it's got all the little latches on to to make sure it stays on even though they're in the water. Yes. All right, so making sure we're wearing this protective gear and then it's really important for parents to really watch. Yes, it is. We have so much distractions mm. going on in mm -hmm. our lives between if we just wanna finally relax, you guys mm -hmm. have been working so hard over the week <laughs> and you may just wanna just read a nice book or magazine. Right, and while the kids are in the pool, the you're sitting the there pool, on the deck, in the chair. There's an extra lifeguard. You really think that they're safe. Yeah. Those if they are because there is a lifeguard, mm -hmm. we still need that extra eye on them. It's okay. so critical. So what we've come up with is called just a little pledge card. Mm -hmm. So if you visit our WISE, we have these cards called a Water Watcher badge. Mm -hmm. So when you have this badge on or you see someone wearing it, you have committed to keep your eyes on your child or the child that you're watching at all times. This just reminds you, you know, from a hand point of not a mental note, hey, this is around my neck, this is on my purse. I'm supposed I to really be watching. Watching yes. my kids right now. Oh gosh, so. so let's talk about drownings because it, it really does happen, unfortunately. What can yes. you tell us? It does happen. Um, let alone just even over a year ago mm -hmm. just around the U.S. There was yeah. a little um, about over a thousand deaths due to drownings. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then about 7,000 injuries due to water that people had to go to the hospital. So it is something that happens. Mm -hmm. And even if your children have taken swim lessons or you even think they're a great swimmer, they're on a swim team, mm -hmm. you know, we still have to keep an eye on them, especially now majority of our swimmers, mm -hmm. they haven't went swimming in nine months. Yeah. And they could have even passed a swim test or something like that. But it's just almost, I like to refer to people, it's kind of like running, mm -hmm. you know? You can run for a long, long time and you get really good at it. But right. then if you take that break, you kind of slow back down. You gotta retrain, you, you gotta get in the, in exactly. the groove again. Oh, exactly, gosh, so you have to really... retrain yourself and make sure that you're physically strong enough to be yes. in the water for a long period of time. That's all great information. Let's take a look at the website because the pools are opening. So we wanna show the locations where people can get in the pool and be safe and enjoy their summer yeah. and there they are all you have to do is go to the ymca website yes and uh and there you'll have it awesome. all right thanks so much for thanks coming so much. and sharing so that we're all safe at the pool this yes. summer awesome thank you so thanks, much thanks Sadie.